So this last segment is going to be covering something that is a option route by the inside receiver to either run a post or a corner. Uh, in our terminology, it's called a fork route because of obviously what it looks like uh, when diagrammed. So right here you see the Y receiver pushing up the field and the key here is that at about an 8 to 10 yard depth he is going to hint opposite the way of his final break and that's one of the things that's going to communicate to the quarterback his intentions. Now this whole setup right here um, shows us uh, some research and development type things so we're adding different components um, that have been introduced already uh, and we're kind of putting them together so the video that you're going to see is not going to be exactly of this combination but something very very closely resembling that. Here we've got the X in a reduced split and we're going to take the running back and motion him to become an outside receiver. He's going to have a locked seam route into the boundary and this is the single high side so if for example out of a three by one formation and they are a quarters cross keying team that will use their free safety to cross key number three with that vertical release if he comes inside we're treating that as one high so as you can see three people the corner the weak side linebacker and the free safety all have to communicate very very quickly upon uh, the revealing of the motion. If they don't do it and this field safety comes inside then obviously this corner in, is in a bind. He can stay inside or they can get a good matchup with the Bronco route that we already talked about. On the multiple receiver side, on the two high side, obviously if the safety stays outside the hash then you've got a tailor-made route. Pretty much it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one between the mic and the guy running the fork. We've changed this combination from straight under routes to what we call a shallow where he's going to push up, break outside, and then pivot back to the inside. So that's that's the component that we're going to discuss and what we're going to look at in the video is something that really closely resembles that. All right, so here's the diagram, and as we said, it's not the exact combination, but we have a good look at what the fork route looks like and the reads that the quarterback is going to see and, and the anticipation uh, that he's going to have on this option route. Uh, here it's blended with a just a tra more traditional smash combination. Uh, we're using this to if we get some kind of press out here and we've got a man-to-man -man throw that we can go ahead and take that versus man coverage so other than getting a press versus man-to-man -man look um, the quarterback's going to have an object read to the backside working the safety against the guy with the option route and then using the under route on the outside here for an outlet just going to let this run. You can see very clearly he jumps outside, the safety does, and that's the uh, that's the break that the that the receiver has, and they're pretty much on time. One of the keys here is that the quarterback is going to anticipate the inside breaking route. So you see he's going to make a quick check, but turn, he knows he's going to the object and he's very decisive with his throw so uh, he can anticipate the inside break first. Going to a different example we're still going to have the object receiver running the fork route on the back side right here again we don't really get we this guy is available should he be able to take that but really when we're dialing this up we're saying we want to work the guy that has the option Once again, you can see he jumps outside, so he hints outside, and the ball is anticipated and thrown and caught before the defense can react.
Okay, one more time and we'll, we'll get the diagram to pull up here in just a second. Now you see it to the bottom of the screen. Same kind of combination. Uh, a little bit different combination here. We'll out of empty. We'll cross these people, but again, we're, we're talking about splitting the field in half, which is essentially what we're doing. Using the Niner advantage principle, we're just speeding this process up for the quarterback. So you're going to see him go ahead and take the middle. The quarterback obviously sees the corner route and the matchup that he has to the other side. We talked about giving him uh, the availability of, of delivering a quick ball uh, versus, versus press coverage. So using these just a few clips, you get a good glimpse of what the fork route is and the different kind of combinations that we could add to it to be able to give our quarterback quick, decisive options versus virtually any coverage that the defense could put out there. I hope you enjoyed this class and we'll see you again in part two, which will be coming up shortly.